I know that as soon as some of you read this, your heart will melt and your courage will fail because you will know that God is with us. The Lord is my God and he is God of the heaven above and the earth below. And he has shown me and his family kindness. And if you want to be sure that he shows you his kindness, you better be sure you are spiritually alive as one of his children so that you are spared the wrath that has come upon the disobedient. God is not impersonal. He wants your fellowship. He wants you to be a partner with Him in all that He does for those that love Him. These writings are supposed to be your sure sign that I am He that I am pouring out God's blessing on all those that faithfully follow the Lord. God has manifested Himself in His creation, His people, His Son, and now His return. I am shining forth the glory of God. I have made this an exact expression of God's character. I am God's signet ring because I am like Him and I am sealing all that is exactly like Him. He who has seen me has seen the Father because the God's Spirit has manifested itself. In me. Jesus is God himself because he completely yielded himself to God's will to show God's divinity and truth. I am just like you. Even if you have backslidden you can still cleanse yourself of the demons who are trying to drag you to hell by calling on the name of Jesus and the hand of God to pull you from the fire. A lot of Christians are self-righteous and even those who don't pray or go to church much think they are better than me. I'm tired of being told that I am not as good as others. I'll show you how good I am. I have always felt like an outcast. I have hardly met anyone who is truly forgiving. That is why God touched me to heal me so I can heal you. I have come as a sinner this time, so I come so I could be filled with the compassion and mercy I needed to judge fairly. I have depended on God to try and keep this righteous. I realize that the Bible says Jesus did not retaliate the first time he was here, but this time I have come to bear your sin, not to bear your sin, but to punish your unrighteousness. All I do is so you will live for righteousness. No longer is this going to be a world that looks away when a, the righteous are persecuted and accepts what the ungodly does, but will look to the shepherd and overseer of their souls, Jesus Christ, to lead them. I am not making threats, I will do as I say. If I see you going astray, I will quickly admonish you. If I told you that I wasn't doing this because of all the hurt I have experienced with getting my kids taken away, then I would be trying lying, which is a sin. And since there is no deceit found in my mouth, I have to tell you the truth that I was crushed, so I am crushing. 
If it wasn't for the suffering of my soul, I would not have seen the light. The pain and guilt caused me to search out God for the answers to what I needed to do to get my kids back. And what I found was what I needed to get all of God's children back to Him also. It is God's will that this happened. My suffering has justified many. Give God the praise. Because this is what I was born to live for. To be His servant. Clinton, I am not doing this to you because you are some kind of trophy I've captured. I'm doing this because I want to save your poor soul and the souls of those that hear you. These words are God's anointment to heal His soul for your eyes to see. The voice of God is the sweetest thing you'll ever hear if you are one of His beloved and the worst if not. I'm praying that the faith of the church doesn't fail now. The wind of God's Spirit is passing this way. We are all sinners, but we are not all unrighteous. Self-righteousness is unrighteousness. Born again as God's children. By keeping your eyes on me, no one will sing. Not only will I show you the way, but I'll do, but I'll also hold you up. God is restoring his fellowship with us. If you sin, it does not mean God will forsake you. He will still, he is still your father and you are still his child. These words will never be forgotten. They are the most refreshing words ever given in the name of Jesus Christ. You are rewarded for doing good and being in God's kingdom is only the beginning. You are rewarded in heaven for what you do here. You have underpasses and overpasses. This is your divine promise. I am your friend. This is the most significant event in the history for the whole world to see. And they will see it when they see everything change and have to face the new world. A lot of people have taken the scripture that we will be with him forever to mean that we will not physically die. But that is not what it means. It means we as people will always spiritually be with him because his return proves that everything is true including eternal life. Praying for the dead doesn't help much so you better make sure you pray while you are alive. Don't let another day go by if you don't know what the Bible says. Learn the Word of God so you can feel the whole before you die. I'm sure you'll be one of them also and in that day we will be together again. But until then I have a kingdom to build. I need to prepare a home for God's children, a place where we can all be together including you. I love you. Love you always, Richard. I am the return Jesus Christ.